<laughs> oh yeah, here we are. We got an element. What year is this element? 2008. 2008 element. And uh, there's something special in the back of this element. What could it be? Show us. Look at this. Quarantine build. A little camper. A quarantine build, okay. So, uh, I mean, pretty much it. So, I'll give you a quick little tour here. Uh, have some storage underneath. Nice. Where I keep uh, all my kitchen stuff. And this is actually like the kitchen side. So, here's the kitchen, okay. Open it up right here. Have more kitchen supplies in here. All my utensils and everything. Storage. And then, uh, underneath this little compartment right here pulls out. And then uh, in here is my other camp stove. So nice. I have camp stove going on. I like that. It's pretty simple. Uh, pretty sleek little design. Goes in. There's also more storage down in there. It goes all the way through. Woo! Look at that. Nice. And then uh, next we have the, uh, the fridge. Yeah, uh, so I designed this around the whole Yeti cooler itself. Okay, so you bought the Yeti cooler first. Yes, Yeti cooler came first, and I was like, well, why don't I build around it? Okay. So this comes out, um, slides out. Uh, the slides, I think, are like 100 pound, 150 pound slides. Uh huh. So they can hold pretty much a lot of weight. You just got drawer slides. Where'd you get those? Uh. Dr. Slide or something like that? Okay, just can't, online somewhere? Can't remember. Yeah, but then. Just got the cooler, and so it kind of stays open, which is pretty nice. And then also works as like a nice little table or like a little holding area, so I can have anything on top of here. Oh, like okay, little, yeah. I can use it as a cutting board or just eat dinner on here or something. Mm -hmm. Have one person on the other side. Oh yeah, that works. Yeah, those drawers are nice. They feel really good. Yeah. Oh, we're hitting that thing. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Slides. So you built all this yourself? Uh, me and my father built it. Oh, okay. He's got the tools. And then that locks it up so it doesn't... Yeah, and then uh, it, when it, at first it was uh, hitting the back of my uh, trunk a little bit, so I was like, what could I put back there? And then I had like an old keychain from my old rock climbing tool, so... Nice. Built that in there. And then the last one is I just have a little just storage stuff, so I just keep whatever I want in there. So I got a lantern, some chairs, blanket, some more space. whatnot. Yeah. And but, then you had to do all these like little cutouts and stuff, huh? To fit. Yeah, so I did I did like a design on, or I did some research on the element. So I designed a floor plan for it because the floor plan's a little interesting where the uh, the springs go for the back wheels uh -huh. and just to make it fit in here perfectly. Um, and then as I was building it, I kind of ran into a little troubles. I didn't really account for up top here. So I had a makeshift little cutouts. So I, there's one that comes out and then it comes down as well. Um, just enough to fit these little little side berms here. Oh, I see. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go to the front and I'll show you the, the bed part that opens up. It's a bed too. Let's do it. Okay. So open yeah, up the doors. This too. So uh, in here, we have more storage basically in here. So this goes all the way down to the end. Um, I have a bin. In here, this goes all the way down to the end of the cooler. Nice. And then you have that side too, which goes the whole bottom is goes all the way through, and then yeah. the top just goes up until where the like. There's that drawer. Is. Yeah, it's a lot of storage. And then uh, we just have this little system. I found these. Uh, I guess they're like hinges for the leg hinges. Uh, found them online. Uh, I think they're like thirty bucks for a set of four of them. Um, I do live in Southern California, so they do rust kind of quickly, but I think they paid for themselves so far in my use of it. Yeah, nice. So these, these just come in and they lock in place, which is really nice. Um, just the way that it's designed though, because I wanted to get as much room as possible, you have to open them up after it passes the chairs. So you just kind of flip this down. Oh, it just fits perfectly. And then there's lock in place. Yeah, I'll get this one down camera system get that one. Okay. Yeah. And then you have a full size bed up here. Well just under a full size. Um I'm like six foot and so I have to sleep just diagonally just a little bit or I can pop my feet over here. Um my girlfriend's shorter though so she fits in here snug as a bug in the rug. <laughs> but uh yeah it fits perfectly and then 
usually whenever we pull up to a campsite, we just keep it keep it like this, and then we have our whole kitchen set up. Um, we have a table that we bust out, bust out the chairs. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. That's keep great, all man. of our clothes, our suitcases, and bags up front. Yeah, you still have a ton of storage even when the bed's out. Yeah, it's good. I think the only downside is, is like if you have to drive away, you have to unfortunately fold this up because it's too small. Yeah, because you, you, yeah, you just have to push the seats all yeah, the way seats forward. It's all seats are pushed up. That's it. But yeah, that's great. So what do you do? You just put a sleeping bag on this, or what do you sleep on? Yeah, we just sleep on our sleeping pads and our sleeping, uh, pads, sleeping okay. bags. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, though, like I do want to add on to it. Like I do want to definitely give it like a stain at least something that's going to be like more waterproof or something I can get dirty. Mm -hmm. um, and then I want to put maybe like a little cushioning or like a carpet on top that way to keep it from getting too dirty. Nice. Yeah, I like it. And then, so how does it stay? Does it slide around? When no, you're, it does when not you slide at all. I think uh, it's pretty much secured in there. I think weight wise, but also um, where the, wheel springs are on the side I cut little grooves so it fits in there and I uh -huh. think just because it fits in those grooves that the whole thing doesn't want to move I see. Um, but it is also completely removable it just takes two people to lift it up and over the springs and then out the back nice so just gotta take all the stuff out but take the drawers out to lessen the load but it's uh -huh. pretty easy to get in and out that's great yeah that you can just take it out and then just have your normal car it's pretty heavy though huh it's not too bad. I mean, I want to say, what, 100, 150 pounds? Okay. It's not bad. Not yeah. for two people. Not bad. Cool, man. I think you did a great job. I like it. Well, thank you. It's awesome. And then you got the the element, the, the chairs out of the back come out completely. Yes. Which is nice. Yeah, the element chairs come out. So I have those in storage. So if I ever want to go back to the old, old way of having it, I can take this out, put the two seats in there. Or if I ever wanted to sell the vehicle, I can either say like, hey, I can take this out and put the seats back in it, or you can take it and you can have the seats. Mm -hmm. So that's a big plus for this thing as well. Um, I think that's about it. I don't know so let's else. say if you built it again for the Element, Ooh. would you change anything on this design? Mm. You know, I think the one thing about this is in my mindset, I was like, oh, I have the Yeti cooler. Like, I want to build it around the Yeti cooler. So I built it around it, so it had to be this high. It can't be any lower. Mm. Um, if I could, I'd probably try and build it a little lower um, just because, like, you can't really sit up in it because you're going to hit the top ceiling. Oh, yeah. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Like, it's not too bad. Sometimes I kind of have to, like, squirrel out just to kind of get the door open if all the doors are closed and locked just because mm. it's got this whatever these are called suicide doors or whatever um so just to open the door you have to reach up to the front handle to open it if you lock yourself in um no but that's pretty much all i would change i'm pretty happy with it it's definitely a learning curve though um some things to like improve on as as you can't fall through it mm -hmm. Cool. Well, no, it looks good. I like it. I like that you can just sit and lay here like that and look out to the ocean. Like, Pretty yeah. sweet. Cool. Well, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for the tour and uh, goodbye. All right. How are you doing? Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy, and these are dog treats. Now, I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats, and all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video. And this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay. I believe you. You said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats. And all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there, pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button, subscribe to curiosity -ness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good, but I'm not very good.